Hello everybody, welcome back to Trying to Survive Derby County, I'm RNA5, still on the favourite personnel list as you can see, and we are approaching a very tough time of the season, we are approaching the Christmas period, winter is looming large, we're still in autumn technically, but it is looming large, we have a couple of games here, the three games you have just seen there, Blackpool, Middlesbrough and Luton, uh, the tougher games coming the first two, Luton obviously 21st should be an easy game, but obviously that won't be the case if we do lose the next two games, but we're hopeful and confident because in the past three games missed the last episode, please check it out. If you haven't been here before, the whole series, uh, Transfer Derby County, is on the channel. Go to the channel, there's a playlist with all episodes from season one up to this current season, season three. Uh, but let's take a look at the championship standings before we get the fixtures. Well, look at that, look at that. Fifth place, baby. Fifth place. Uh, obviously, could drop on the sixth if not in Forest to get a win uh, in their next game with the next game in hand, obviously. Uh, we hope they don't do that. That'd be pretty nice uh, because then we can stay in the blue right here, the blue. But we'd like to be in the green if possible, uh, which could happen if we keep this run of results going. As we saw in the last episode, uh, we won back to back to back games. Three games on the bounce we won and three clean sheets as well. Home to Brentford, a 2 0 win there. An own goal from Roselev, then followed by Katie Gordon getting a second goal for us there. Uh, then we went away to Birmingham, a 2 0 win there. Scarlet with a penalty and a big Willie Campbell while getting a goal. His first for the club had a fantastic performance away from home. And then we beat Sunderland 4-0. Dane Scarlett with four goals to his name. The Dane is back, baby. The Dane is back. And he is going to about, well, we hope he's about to, to wreak havoc tonight. Or this afternoon, rather, against Blackpool. Who are currently third in the table. So, this is a very important clash. We beat Blackpool. We go above Blackpool in points. And that will be delightful. So let's hope we can do that here. Here's the team that's going to take on uh, Blackpool here today. We've got Jarrison Gold. We've got Cesson Young, Billy, Willie, and Buchanan. We've got Aketi, Bird, and De Silva. Lawrence and Gordon on the wings. We have Abdu Ali up front. You may want to wear Dane Scarlet too. He is rested. He's knackered. We'll give him that rest. So I said he's going to wreak havoc in this game. He's not because he's not even playing. So it's fine. But we do have Abdu Ali. We're hopeful he can do... The business, he's wanted by a few clubs again. Um, but we'll see what we do. We'll see what we can do here. I, I have faith in the team. You know, we've got Billy and Willie, the Billy Willie combination at the back. Um, we just hope we can beat Blackpool because, you know, it's a big game. Big game, of course. Derby, Blackpool, here we go. Kick off here and we are underway. Uh, huge game. Fifth in the table currently. We could go above that if we win. Uh, Blackpool, of course, third, so we could go third if we win, potentially. But if we give the ball away that, I doubt that'll happen. Uh, carry on the ball, good block there from uh, Billy, who has uh, been an impressive start to his campaign for Derby, as has Willie. He's come a lot along now in this season. Both these boys, both these boys, young defenders, but they're both very established team members already. Uh, corner here for Blackpool. This is not good position for us to be in, and a good header there from Willie though, and that's what we have with Willie Campbell, a bit like a hype presence, someone in the box that could be like a presence, and that's what Willie can do, and he's just showing it right there from that corner, um, they have the ball here, playing it dangerously, we hope we can get the ball back here, nope, we're not going to get that, head of that someone, nope, okay, this is a good start, I don't like, I don't like this, I'm, I'm on edge, oh god, please don't score, oh, what a block, that's what Willie Campbell can do. He just did a brilliant challenge there. And Willie Campbell already showing why he's started the majority of the game so far in recent times. He's been absolutely sensational. And showing it there. Tom Lawrence there. Here is Big Will himself. Tom Lawrence on the ball. He's had a good season as well. De Silva to Bird. De Silva finally coming along. Settled in now. Showing us why we brought him in. Here's Tom Lawrence on the ball. Max Bird. It's Buchanan. He got there just... Can he get the cross in? He can. Abdu Ali's there. And Abdu Ali, we know who can header a ball. If you've watched this series before, we know he can header that ball into the back of the net. That time could not get the right connection. And that is over for a goal kick. And now Blackpool on the attack. Dale on the on the, on the the attack. But Billy's there. And see, that's why I like to have Billy and Willie in the, in the back. They're just very, very good. Um, yeah, we're missing Dane Scott a lot today. I, I think some of those passes from De Silva is not going to hit. Uh, Abdu Ali as much as we like um, because Dane is out uh, being rested. He's had a busy international period offside, surely. 
Well, Jaros got the save. Anyway, we trust Jaros, our number one for the season. Uh, and he has shown that he can do it for the boys. And he's showing it uh, once again. Uh, Jaros having a fantastic season. He's got a couple of clean sheets under his belt. Hopefully, we can get another one here. But it's going to be tough against Blackpool. High-flying Blackpool. Yannicetti, here's Buchanan. Can we get through here? It's a lovely pass. No one. Abdullahi just not responding to that pass at all. That's what we're talking about when we're saying we're missing. Oh, Willie, no. Oh, thank God he missed that. Willie Campbell is just wrong-sided there. That was not good. That was not good. Fulham are losing. Oh, bloody hell. Well, there you go. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I'm going to have to encourage the team in a second. Let me just see where this highlight goes. Um, Babylon on the ball. Get that ball. Oh, they've in again. And they've scored. It's 1-0. Lavery scores for Blackpool. It's 1-0. To the away side. You know what? They look like they've been on top. And that's what happens when we don't have Dane Scott in the team. Knackered after international duty. Uh, that's just a disappointing goal to concede, to be fair. I mean, they've had, all, they've had all the chances, to be fair to them. We've had all the ball. Nothing done with it. And there you see Blackpool take the lead. Lawrence's free kick is poor, as usual. I should take my free kicks. I should really change the take, takers here. But Giles is in, and this is not a good position to be in. Sesson Young does his job, and KD Gordon's on it to Sesson Young. Oh, man, this is not a good start to the game. Bird on the ball, not for Abdu Ali, though. It's going to be difficult to Abdu Ali up front on his own. And Willie heads it away, did well there. I mean, Billy and Willie having good games. Lawrence did well. Here's Bird. Here's Lawrence. Can you make the run? He's done really well so far. Lovely ball. Abdu Ali's played in. And Rudd gets a save. That was a big opportunity for Abdu Ali. Really, we rarely see him in that position in this half. First time we see him. Takes a shot. And Rudd is there. And Kambuala just couldn't put it away. Oh, frustration. Frustration in the first half. Um, as we see us go down a goal. And not take our chances well enough. Good ball to Buchanan. Can we get the cross in? We can in the end. But it's a, just a... Nothing cross in the end. Sesson Young's got it back for us, though. Here is Gordon. Bird. The captain to make it happen. Captain's about to make it happen. Buchanan to Lawrence. Here is Gordon. He's had a couple goals so far, and that's not a good shot. But it's back in possession with us. And Bowler wins it back. Oh, man. This is just not good enough, is it? It's not good enough. De Silva trying to play to Gordon. Not going to happen. Now here come Blackpool. Uh, on the edge of half time, can we get the ball back here? Potentially get a goal to keep us in the running here. But Bowler's in. This could be 2 0 if we're not careful. Connolly's played it back to. And it's now Blackpool back on the ball. They have the ball in their in their possession. We're missing Dane. We're missing Dane today. We're missing Dane. And that's. Oh, it's not 2 0. Jaros with a save. But to say, missing Dane today. Very. Badly, but Billy and Willie again providing us with why we should be playing him. And I'm gonna thrash my arms and say, What the hell was that, boys? Come on now. But defensively, uh, it could be better, but from the full backs at least, from the center backs, raids wise, nothing wrong. Strong in the air, as per Abdu Ali managed to not. We brought him in as a striker in the second season, uh, for League One, repairing life without Plange and Scarlet. We brought them both back. And Abdul Ali was shifted up to the wing and played brilliantly in the wing, to be fair to him. But he's not having the, he's having a tough time up front on his own. We've had five shots, one of them on target. That was the Abdul Ali chance we saw earlier in the first half. Oh, God, they played in again. How would they pass and move like that? It's just amazingly how they do that. We'll have to make some changes now. Gordon is having a, uh, not a best game. Wolf's going to come on. We're going to play him as that inverted winger he likes. We're actually going to tell him to attack as well because we need some attacking going on. We may have to take off. Um, Lawrence is injured. What's the injury? I think what's wrong with Tom Lawrence. Apparently he's injured, but I don't know what's wrong with him. They didn't say anything about it, did they? I didn't, I didn't see anything pop up for Lawrence, but there you go. Billy's on the ball. Here's Yannicetti. Here's De Silva. We've got the ball in our possession, but we're looking to get it. Can we get it forward here? We're about to bring on Wolf for the se second half here to hope we can inspire a comeback. It's a lovely ball for Sesson Young. Can he find his way through? He's done well here. Can he get the cross in? He's crossed it in for Abdu Ali. And again, similar case in the first half. We could not get that header right for Abdu Ali. We've seen him time and time again score in League One. So far, not getting it right. 
in Championship. Of course, we're telling the player up front. We haven't played him up front in quite some time. But so it's a very big ass to fill in the shoes of Dane Scott. But here he is again. Wolf, who's come on for Gordon. Billy and Willie continuing to play some very good defensive work for the team. Jarrett's having a good game as well. He's, he's done, despite conceding the one goal. I feel like we need to make a change somewhere. Maybe even midfield. But up front definitely needs a change as well. Because Adelaide's not having the best, his best game. I'm going to encourage the team again. Oh, hold on. Giles is in. Sessing on. Great challenge. Dale's in there. I'm going to encourage the team. Slightly lower tempo. And there we go. Pulled knee, knee ligaments. That's not good. Free kick here from... Oh. Outdone by a set piece. It is 2-0 Blackpool. And we are on the ropes here. This has not been a good day to be a Derby County. We've had three back-to-back -back wins. And three straight wins, three clean sheets. And now it looks like it's all going to be undone here. 3-0. That's offside, surely. Yeah, offside, I was going to say. It was offside, I was going to say. That's why I complained very hardly if that was given. Here's Sessing on the ball. We need a goal somewhere. Abdullah will have to come off soon because he's not been playing well enough. Bird trying to play in Wolf. It's not going to happen. But Abdullah's there. And Abdullah, as I say, he wasn't doing the job. Gets the goal back in the game. And here we go. It is now 2-1. The game is back in our... Well, hopefully in our favour. Lawrence's free kick. Oh, hit the crossbar. Oh, man. We say about his free kick and how inconsistent, inconsistent he is. But if that went in, I would have been a happy man. Bird, here's Sessegnon. He's got lots of room to time the strike and Rudd is there to hold on. Getting the shot on target now, which is good. Abdu Ali getting his second goal of the season. He is looking knackered. Yeah, it's time to bring on James Scott, I think. And I should take off Tom Lawrence, but instead we're going to bring on Dylan Levitt for Josta Silva. The three man midfielders back Bird, Levitt, and Yana Ketty. We need something happening here. We're going to go attacking. Buchanan not having his best game, but you know, we move, we move. We have to, oh, he's just giving the ball away there. That's why. There is James Scott. He came off the bench and scored a goal before in the league to equalize for us. Can he do it again? Wolf tried to play him in. It's cleared away. There's Sessin Young back. Here's Wolf. Levitt's there. Yannicetti, come on. Lovely ball. Tom Lawrence is in there. Can he get it in the box for someone? Someone's there. Oh, my God. How did he save that? Bloody hell. What a save. Rudd keeping Blackpool. Lead intact. And it's cleared away. Yannicetti. Oh, he tried to play the Lawrence, but he's offside. No point in headering that to Tom Lawrence. Oh, what a chance. What a chance. Let's go for our attacking. This has not been very good. It's not been very good at all. Um, oh, hold on. Highlight. Ignore me. Buchanan's throwing his bird. Buchanan can play. In. He's trying. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> Yannicetti. Oh, the cross was there, but it's cleared away. Here's Billy on the ball. Sesson Young. I mean, Willie and Billy again showing why they should be starting every week. They're playing very well in the back. Here's Wolf. Lever to Bird. Lovely ball. Wolf's there. Can Wolf get it in, back in? Did Levitt's there. What a save from Rudd again. And Rudd has kept Blackpool's lead again. Dylan Levitt coming in with a shot. Bird's there and it's over the bar. Goal kick. We're going to go higher. Much higher tempo. Slightly shorter passing. We have we have no more changes. We have no more changes. So we can't make a, a final sub. We have made all our changes. So we can't. We have to stick with this team. Yates is in. Jaros with a great save. There's Billy keeping it in play. And that's what we want to see from Billy. Not putting it out for the corner. Just keeping it in play so we could potentially get an attack. We didn't get that in the end. But... I like the commitment. Here's Levitt. Lawrence on the ball. Then Levitt to Scott. The bird shot. What a goal. Max Bird. The captain's goal. The captain has made it happen. It is 2-2. From out of nowhere, that shot. Max Bird just rifling at home. Look at this shot from Max Bird. Lovely bit of play here. Max Bird left foot. Uh, and that is a thunderbolt. To the back of the net. And Max Bird, the captain... Has equalized for us late on here. It is 2-2. Just when we thought it was going to be a disappointing day at the office. We have equalized late. And we are still on very attacking. I should have probably gone down because Blackpool are on the ball. Oh, God. Don't score. Right. Good block. Corner here. The corner goes in. Willie heads it away. We have a chance here. Wolf. Go on, Wolf. Scott's ahead of you. 
that's a oh, tactical foul, tactical foul. Blackpool had to do it as well. Here's Willie with the ball. Wolf's there again, though. He's, oh, he's offside. God damn it. He's offside. They have the ball here, taking their time. The draw will do... You know what? I'll take a draw as well against third place Blackpool, to be honest. And there you go. What a game. 2-2 in the end. Blackpool up by two goals. And we equalized in the second half. I mean, oh, well, they scored in the second half to be fair, the second goal. But then we came back. Abdu Ali with a rare mistake at the back from Blackpool. Followed by Max Bird's Thunderbolt. And we win the game. Willie Camboala and Billy also getting a component. And Willie, I'm going to praise him because he's an 8.0. So we'll do that. Good stuff indeed. And we move on to Middlesbrough. Which is going to be fun. So that we've got Middlesbrough in three days. When we come, well, when I come back, three days away, we are going to Middlesbrough. All right. A sudden cut because I thought I was going to the gym. I'm not. Thank God. I'm instead staying at home playing against Middlesbrough. 8 o'clock kickoff. Uh, we'll play Middlesbrough. Let's hope we can get the win here. I just noticed as well, Tom Lawrence are injured uh, for the next two, three weeks with pulled knee ligaments. But he was suspended for the next game anyway. So it doesn't really matter. We will not have Tom Lawrence for this game if he was injured, if he was fully fit anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So let's pick a team to play Middlesbrough here. And in goal, we're going to have Jaros, obviously. Jaros is the main man. I think that's a certainty, to be fair, at this stage. Right back, we'll play Dijon Sterling. Uh, Cesar Young has been good, but we're going to give him a bit of a rest. Luke and Betty will start. Uh, he's going to start with my man, Willie. He's going to start with him. Left back, we're going to play Glennon. Then our DM is going to be Bielik. In the midfield, we'll have Dylan Levitt alongside Josh Silva. Then the wingers, we're going to have Katie Gordon start. Give him a chance. Also going to play Hans Wolf. And up front, we are going to play the man, Dane Scarlet. He is back in. He says he's rested, but I'm resting him. So it's fine. Uh, where's he play better? It doesn't really matter. That's fine. That's perfect for me. So fingers crossed, we can get the win here. Millsborough, it is, it's, going to, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a very tough game. Um, we missed Dane Scarlet in the last game. We're hopeful we can uh, get the win here over... Middlesbrough. Oh, and by the way, we're going to have a new contract. <laughs> a new three-year deal on £20,000 per week, um, which is a lot of money. I, I like that now, to be honest with you. Can can my current job pay me £20,000 a week? That'd be pretty sweet. can buy a PC with that. So, yeah, uh, £20,000 per week. Do we ask more? I'm kidding. We're not going to ask for more. I think, to be honest, I think this is a, this is a good contract. I, I take... I take I'd take any of this per week. You know what I mean? That's that's how that's how real life works. I'll take any of that per week. You know what I mean? Like that's just that sounds amazing. So we've got a new deal. We've signed a new three year contract. No way we're gonna be poached by any other clubs now. We have extended our deal to twenty twenty six, which is a long time away in football terms. So we've got a couple of years back on our contract, uh, which is nice to see. Now we're gonna be uh, rocking and rolling. In the championship with Derby. We're playing Middlesbrough who is second. We are fourth in the championship. Shockingly, Fulham did lose their game in the end against Watford 4-2. Which means they did not overtake us. Which means we stayed fourth. Uh, let me actually check the last games before we get into uh, this uh, this one. Bournemouth did win their game 3-2. They We're on the same amount of games. It doesn't really matter about Brentford. Brentford? Bournemouth, I mean. Brentford uh, beat Cardiff. So they're still in the running as well. There's our draw. Sunderland drew. Which, which is good for us. I mean, we, we, we just have via goal difference, which is good. Fulham lost their game, as I mentioned, 4-2 to Watford. Uh, Nottingham Forest drew their game, which is awesome. That's that's perfect for us uh, with Nottingham Forest drawing against Middlesbrough, funny enough. Today's opponents. Huddersfield lost their game 2-1. So not a good day in the office for some of the top-ranked teams here. And keep your smash Luton 6-1. So we're playing Luton soon, which is going to be fun. So if they can uh, keep losing... That'd be awesome. Uh, Blackpool are nil nil currently with Preston late in that game, uh, so we are going to be playing now, uh, right here, right now. We've got the team out here. Dane Scott is back in the team finally. James Scott had an injury. I didn't realize he had an injury. There we are. Sterling does start. We'll hopefully he can put in a shift today. And Betty and Campbell are played together. We got we got a team out that we hope we can that can win. We're hopeful. We're confident in ourselves. We're confident in the boys. Just fingers crossed we can get that three points 
away from home. It's going to be tough against Middlesbrough. They've been on good form. They're second in the league for a reason. So they got Dahlberg. I just realised that. Is that the Dahlberg that I'm thinking of? Or is it a different Dahlberg? Oh, where is he? Is he, is he here? I don't even see him. Oh, he's the goalkeeper. There's a different Dahlberg I'm thinking of. Well, anyway, uh, we're going to move up. Let's, let's just hope we can keep going on. Uh, Dane Scott is back in the team, obviously. That's a huge boost for us because Dane uh, did score four goals in his last game. So, fingers crossed, he can chip in with a goal. He's rested. He's fully fit now. He's He must be feeling himself now. He, I, I, I gave him a bit of a rest. After international break, he was very tired from the end of 21 games. So, yeah, fingers crossed we can get a win. Three points, hopefully, on the board will be nice against Middlesbrough, who are second in the table. And uh, that's a, a tempting ball there for Middlesbrough. But Jaros was there, alert, ready for it. Uh, here we go, Timon on the throw. Keen Lewis Potter, remember him. He smashed this one with a hull. Oh, my word, that's a, that's a goal. That's a goal. Jaros off his line, and that is a fantastic goal for Middlesbrough to kick off their game. 1-0 early on. Look at this goal again. Just watch this again from Middlesbrough. Lever tried to win it back. He just couldn't do that. And Jaros off his line just in no man's land. Didn't need to do it. There was somebody there for him. The defender was there with him. He did need to be out that far. And he's still committed. And he's uh, cost us a goal. It's 1-0 to Middlesbrough. Here's Lewis Potter, the man we were talking about. Playing for Hull. Smashed us. Uh, smashed a couple of goals against us when we played Hull in the championship in our first season. Not the best start to the game. We are not looking good. Um, yeah, I'm not confident now in this game. I mean, I, I shouldn't have been confident anyway. It is against a second place Middlesbrough. But, hey, we've been in good form. We have Dane back. So, you know, I, I, I should have some faith in my team. Especially in Dane. Because Dane's been in form again. Which is nice to see. Oh, God, don't. Right, nice one. That's, that's Willie. That's Willie. What a ball for Scarlet. Can you get there? You can. Dane Scarlet's there. That's what I'm talking about. The Dylan and Dane show. We're back in it, baby. 1-1. One, one. Dahlberg never saw that one. What a finish. Look at this pass again. Look at this. See? When you got big Willie at the back, you're calm. Great pass from Levitt. What a pass into Dane Scarlet. Look at that touch and finish. No chance, goalkeeper. Rooted to the spot. It is 1-1. One, one. And we are back in this one. Just when he thought it was all doom and gloom, we come back straight away with an equalising goal from Dane Scarlett. The man we missed in the last game against Blackpool is back in the goals for us here today. And I've just had my pay slip, so I'm very excited to see how much I'll get in my wages this week. It won't be £20,000 per week. We just signed a new contract with Derby. It definitely won't be that, so... <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. Um... I wish I had that much. Can you imagine how much what you do with twenty thousand pounds per week? Like that's just insanity. It real talk. That's insanity. Like you just have twenty grand a week as a manager of a football team. That's just insane. Good block there from Bay. I mean, we deserve it. We've been we've been good. I, I'm, I don't want to toot my own horn here in the safe, but we did get back up in the championship in our very in our very first go, and we're actually competing. In the top half of the championship table in our third season. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I may I may deserve it. You know? <laughs> I'm kidding. Virtually, yeah, I do deserve it. But in real life, nah, no chance. Here's Wolf on the ball. Lovely ball. Scott's there. Great touch. Can he finish it off? And Dahlberg's there. But he's offside anyway. It doesn't really matter what happens if that went in. Dane Scott was in the right place. But moved a fraction early for the offside. We've not actually had been too bad, to be fair. We've had more of the ball than Millsborough. They've had more shots. Uh, but... That's expected, but we we we, you know, we have more of the ball. You know, we're not we're not a short heavy team. We always take our chances. You know, we don't take them well enough, but you know, it's still something. The silver's looking knackered. We're gonna take them off in the second half. Half time though, it is one one. So we're not out of this yet. We're not out of this yet. We're still in this. Dane Scarlett putting us back in the game. Dylan Lemon putting a fantastic pass. Big Willie Campbell again showing us why he should be starting every week. He's nineteen, by the way. 19 years of age now, and he's performing like this every single week. How can I not start him every game? You know what I mean? Same with Billy. He's 20. He's a year older, and he's still he's performing well as well. So I'm thinking in January, if we do... I am tempted to go with Billy and Willie for the rest of the season. If we just let Imbeti go back to Man City 
and we bring back Vandenberg. That's my theory. That's my thinking. As Middlesbrough look to make it two one, Jaros good save. Glennon gets it away. Uh, I, that's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking that very carefully, but I don't want to get rid. Luke Bay is a very good player. He's been very good to us uh, since last season, but we have good players in the back as well. Gordon's there. Oh, I thought he scored. It's a good chance. It's a very good chance. George McCarran's on the bench. We're going to bring him on in a second for De Silva, who's knackered. We're going to bring him on for Gordon as well. He's not had the best game. His Sterling. We could play Sterling up in the right wing, to be fair. He may be more offensive-minded, defensive-minded. I don't know. We'll see. Gordon's on the ball, though. What a pass for Scarlett. He's got there as well. Oh, what a goal. Is that onside? I think it is. Dane Scarlett again has got the goals in him. He's got ice running through his veins. His 50th league goal for Derby County. And what a finish this is. Look at this pass. I was thinking about bringing him off as well, Katie Gordon. But he's putting a brilliant pass like that. And there's Dane Scarlett on the ball. Oh, it's 2-1, people. It's 2-1. What a what a goal. Dane Scarlett, like we said, we've missed him in that last game with Blackpool. And there you go. There's the proof. He scored two goals for us. And look what that could put us. Third in the table if we beat Middlesbrough. Third in the table. That's huge. Huge at this stage of the season. Wolf to Camboala. Here is Wolf again. And Camboala's back on the ball. And Betty now. We talked about him. Betty probably going back to Man City. Uh, it's just because we have Billy and Willie. And Bielik's there too. We can bring back Vandenberg on his, from his loan. Because he's got a work permit. So I'm, I'm feeling very confident. Great ball from going to Wolf. Can he play it into Scarlett? He can. Oh. That's a missed opportunity I think. A missed opportunity. I'm going to praise the boys. Anyway. We are 2-1 up. It's still... It can still all unravel, but I'm going to praise them now in the hopes that they can just, you know, keep it going. Look, see, look at Scarlett just run. That's a player full of confidence, playing with confidence. That's a player playing with confidence right now. He's found the goal scoring rhythm, and he is showing it. Oh, Willie. Oh, Willie. We were talking about you so well. He's had a good game as well. He's probably tired now. Oh, that's a tap in. That's offside, please. It's not offside. It's a tap in. Ah, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. That is frustrating. It's 2-2. Near post. Jaros had no chance in the end. It's 2-2 now. Willie playing very difficult. Uh, just playing risky football. Didn't need to do that as well. Oh, that was a great pass if Scott got on that. That would have been a great pass. The, the idea was there. Oh, I thought Scott got on that again. I think he was offside. Yeah, he said he, he, said he was offside. Nice one, Glennon. Willie Campbell, oh, he's headed straight back into the danger zone. There's a, sh oh, that's a shot from Josh Corbin. That's three-two, and just like that, the game has turned again. This time, Millsworth's favour. Right, we're bringing off Willie Campbell. We're gonna bring, oh, we can only bring on Leon's fast. No, we're bringing Bielik. What am I about? Hold on, sorry. Liam Thompson, George McCarran, and we're gonna bring off Corden and bring on Ebersley. Those are the changes we're making here. Those are serious changes we're making. Wolf again not playing well. Here's Gordon. We're bringing him off in a second and he nearly got us a goal. Well, he nearly got us a goal. Damn, man. I'm fresh. Look where we were. We were. It was 2 2 just then. It was 2 1 just then. And now it's 3 2 Middlesbrough. Josh Coburn just changing the game for Middlesbrough. They're in again here. Yeah. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Please don't concede another goal. We've made some changes here. We brought off Willie. He's looking knackered, bless him. So we brought him off for his own safety. And that's onside. That's going to be a goal. Yep. Adam Armstrong, a player we were tempted to bring in in the transfer window in the summer, has just scored for Middlesbrough. It is now 4 2. And frustration strikes again. Oh, man. I can't believe it. We were looking good at 2 1. Then all of a sudden, that goal there changed things. It's the corner for Middlesbrough. It might be 5 2. And thankfully, Jarrett's got there in the end. Sterling, again, having a stinker. The back line, again, Billy and Willie play better. I'm just saying. Willie had a good game until he came off. I brought him off because he's been knackered. Bless him. Shattered. Eversley on the cross. Here is Scarlett. I just couldn't put it in the back of the net. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying because we we have played, we've played some good stuff sometimes today. And it's just not... It looks like Milton will get the whole three points here. We're not looking like we're going to catch up. Well, see, see, especially when we do that, stuff like that. Especially when we do stuff like that. Stupid stuff like that. 
It's just no point, is it? It's no point. Corner here from uh, Middlesbrough. Head away with Bielik, thankfully, but Armstrong's going to chase this one down. Adam Armstrong, we had a chance to bring him in. He was too expensive, so we didn't bring him in, and he scored against us. Sterling on the throw. Here's Levitt. <sighs> Looked so good. Thompson. Here's McGarren. Here's Levitt again. We need something to happen here in the next four minutes of this game. Three minutes. Oh, Ibiselli nearly got it there. What a save from the goalkeeper. Wolf again coming in, not really performing well. The corner goes in, it's headed away. Um, here is Sterling. S same with Sterling, not playing well again. Wolf had a poor game. He has not been good since coming in. We thought he would be a very good player for us. And so far has not shown it for us. He has been very lackluster. In, oh my word, that was easy. Jarrus thankfully saved it, but how easy was that then for Millsborough? Oh my word. It's not good, it's not good at all. Can we can we get a late goal at least? Can we get no we're not getting late goal, we're not getting late goal. Millsborough deserve it to be fair. Millsborough deserve it. They've had all the chances, and now they've taken them all. 4-2. We're gonna lose this game. Disappointing in the end because we were 2-1 up, and we let it all fall down on ourselves. <sighs> frustration. Frustration as we lose 4-2 to Billsborough. We move out of the top six into eighth place. That's not the result we wanted to see. That's not the result we wanted to see. And, again, a, a fitness issue for Dane Scarlett. Oh, man. Again, they're saying James Scott needs a rest. James Scott just plays all the time. I can't help. I can't help him, man. He's just too good to not play. You know what I mean? He needs to play every week. He's one of the best players we got at the club. One of our best strikers for certain. And Inter Miami want Sesson Young. They'll need to pay some money for him. 2.5 million. Um, how much do we pay for Sesson Young? We pay 2.5. Yeah, we want, we want more than 2.5. We want to make some profit on him, at least, if we do sell him. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. But we move back to the drawing board. We go to Luton Town at home. We're hopeful of three points there. They are 22nd in the league, so it should be a win. But you never know. Uh, with Luton Town, they could just do a Middlesbrough on us and win 4-2. So when we come back, we're going to play Luton Town in our final game of the episode. Well, there we go. We're about to play Luton Town. Picking the team here. Jarrah starts in goal. He's our number one keeper. As always, Sesson Young does return to the team at right back. We're going to play Billy and Willie at the centre backs here. They've both been fantastic. They're going to keep their places. We're going to play Leon Foster this time. We're not going to play uh, Glenn or Buchanan. We're going to give Leon Foster a run out here today. Uh, defensive midfield, we're going to play Yannick uh, In the midfield, we are going to play uh, Dylan Levitt. We're actually going to play George McCarron as well. Uh, he's been asking for game time. I promised him some game time in the coming weeks, and we'll give him that chance here today. Uh, Katie Gordon at right hand side of the midfield of the wing left hand side we're going to play James Scott and then up front it's going to be Danny Scarlett who is rested from training so we're hopeful we can uh, we can give him well hopefully he'll be ready for the game against Luton I'm sure he will be uh, but we'll make sure to bring him off um, so fingers crossed we can um, we remember to bring off Dane Scarlett basically is what I'm trying to say we're hopefully to bring him off in that game, uh, we're in December now. Buxton wants to be manager of West, of Wrexham, sorry, no West Ham, Wrexham. Um, so that goes. There's Dane Scar, seven and four. And look at that Young Players of the Month. We've got all three of our players in the Young Player of the Month. That's what's going on right there. But Dane Scar, the main man himself, getting us, get, winning the reward. We're going to praise some training people. Everyone playing training pretty well. No worse trainer today. Everyone playing good. In training, including the big man Willie Campbellwala, who again showing us why you should be starting every single week. He trains well, you should be starting. You know, you train well, you start. And Madu has actually been training very well for most of the time, so I might put him on. You know what? I'm going to put him on the bench. It's against Luton. We can afford to take a risk. Luton are a, a team that are currently, you know, it's 22nd in the league. We could potentially get uh, hopefully a win. So we'll give a chance for the young man Madu on the bench. I think it's time we do that. So work permits. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Look at that. Work permits. Nationality for Jarvis as well. It's looking pretty good. So who we have right here? So we have Yep. Yep. He's on. Oh yeah, he's done. He's got a contract, is he? 
Rough and contract quickly. He should get a work permit at least. Um, uh, what's his current contract now? Is he on that much? He's on a lot less than that. All right. Let's try and get five. Oh, okay. Right there. Fair enough. All right. We'll do that then. So at least then we don't have to deal with work permit issues. Musunda is. Uh, we're going to delay that decision because he's not. Um, we don't know about him. Seth and Young though. I think we should keep. We're going to try to be. I am trying, bro. Yeah, I am trying. So we keep testing on the team. Uh, what's his contract currently? He's on five grand. He wants that to decrease. We want that increase. Thank you. We'll still decrease your wages if you're asking for that much. How about 9.5? And we'll do 10 of that. There we go. Lovely. All right. Testing on is hopefully going to be staying. Got Darren Robson, Solomon. We've got a few people here out of contract. We have. An extension for McDonald. We'll do that. Lee Buchanan is out of contract. I didn't realize that. We'll put him in. So left back, obviously. What's he on currently? So 5.5. That's a huge wage hike um, for his, uh, himself. I mean, I know I'm on 20 grand a week, guys, but come on. Like This is, uh, this is uh, a little bit ridiculous. There we go. Lovely. Uh, who else is it? Leon's Foster. He's out of contract soon. Uh, so we'll have to keep him around. I like Leon Swasso a lot. He's a very versatile player. I'm asking for a lot as well, which is nice. So I want to keep him around for as long. Glennon, um, we're going to wait on him. He He's always good. I swear he's meant to be better than that. Or oh, whatever. Is there anybody else that strikes out? Joseph Joseph. Dan Robson, actually, is someone I want to keep. Um, as a young prospect, obviously. We want to keep him around. It's only 18, so he's still got plenty of time to grow. Harrison Solomon as well as another player that I want to see stay at the club. A player again has time to grow. Joseph Joseph, we signed him uh, pretty late last season. And we want him to stay at the club. That'd be nice. Dylan Lewis had a contract. Whoa, what's this? What is this? What is this, huh? What is this? Uh, Alright, his contract. 13 grand. He's asking for a lot more. That's increased, which is nice. We're going to put it to 11.5. And we'll see if he'll take this. How about 10.5? And you have this. Nice one. You agree to that one. Um, and Steve Steele. Yeah, I may as well keep him. Uh, we won't do that. I don't want to promise loans because then people will um, be pissy at me. I mean, people, I mean, the people we agreed deals with. The rest can stay for now. And recruitment meetings are here. Well, they say we need a, a left back, a winger, a DM, and a centre mid. Um, okay. So, uh, we definitely need a left back. I know that much. So, uh, Lido Sosa. Ooh. We'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him. Uh, we won't keep an eye on him. We'll scout him, but we won't shortlist him. And we'll... Mm. We'll keep an eye on him as well. Maybe. Um, Alright, move on. Left midfield. Or well, the left hand side of that midfield there. With Dominic Ballard. This guy. We've got Josh Murphy. Dembele. Not the not the good one, at least. You know, the one plays Barcelona. <laughs> um, midfielder. Hopefully that'll be sorted with the contracts. I don't think we really need a midfielder. We've got a very good midfield base, so I think we'll be alright. Um, I didn't see you. Who are you? You're a free agent. 22. I mean, I'd be, be wrong not to try and at least take a chance on him. 22. Why not? There's no risk really on, on signing him really. It's just a a nice fringe player. Looks pretty alright on paper, so you know, fingers crossed it'll, it'll be the deal. Um Look at DMs. We have got Yepis, so we don't really need another defense midfielder. And we got No we don't. Uh, we do have uh Dan Robson as well. We have a few players in that position who can play there. Liam Thompson as well. It's not like a struggle for DM, so we're fine. Tight chunk. Play for Lazio. Interesting. Oh, he's, he's actually requested a release. Oh, transfer request. 
Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah. Let's just keep scouting people. As many people as we can. Lovely. Now we play Luton Town. 22nd in the league. We are 8th currently. Uh, a massive drop from where we were earlier. If we if we just hold on against Middlesbrough, would have been different. But there we go. We've extended the contract with McDonald. He's now got a year extension to his deal. Um, and now we play Luton Town. Hopefully, teams above us will drop points so we and we can win so we can go above them. That would be nice. But big opportunity here for some of these players. George McCarron especially. Uh, let's hope we can get the win here, boys and girls and other. I am hopeful we can get the win. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed, you know. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we do here. Let's see how we do. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. This is a big game. Big game. Because Luton Town can surprise us and win. And that's what I want to see. I want to see the boys get a win here. Good block there. From Cesar Young. Here's a corner. Or was it Gordon? Number, it was a 20-something. I saw a 2. It was either Cesar Young or Gordon on the right-hand side. So there we go. Alright. Luton have started better. Obviously, we've had more of the ball. But now here we are. This possession stats in our favour. This is Leon's Foster. This is Scott. Leon's Foster now. Not the best pass from him at all. We have made a, we've made a few changes to the team. But you know, I'm still confident in the team we've got out here. And there's George McCarron trying to prove a point to me that he should be starting every week. Here's Leon's Foster. Here's James Scott. Levitt on the ball. Good movement. Can we get the pass through? There's Gordon. Can he get the cross in? He's found Cessna Young instead. Here's Dylan Levitt. Here's Gordon. What a save from Evans. I think he's offside. Yeah, he's offside. Anyway, doesn't matter what happens with that move as KD Gordon was indeed offside. And here's Leon Foster on the ball. Lovely pass. And Josh McGarris will be there. Evans clears it. Here's Billy on the ball. Sessing Young to Gordon. Here's Sessing Young. He's got options. He may go for the cross. He's not done that. Instead, he's put a Yannicetti. He's played George and Jim McCarron. Here's Leon Foster. Go on. Someone. Someone make the, the difference here. Dane Scott could do it. Sessing Young played in. Can he cross it in? He's put in Levitt. Cross in. Here's James Scott. Dane Scarlett. Oh, my word. Defensively done well there by, by Luton Town. Here's Yannicetti again. Here's George McCarron. Here is... James Scott still working towards getting the goal if we can. And Hammer is there to clear it away. And that is not good news for us because they can counter. And Willie gives away a needless free kick rate. Didn't he do that? He's booked now. That was silly from Willie. Silly Willie. Here's Gordon. Jarris now to Campbellwala. Here is Leon Foster. Can he get through here? What a pass to James Scott. Can he put it in the box for Dane Scott? Who's there? He says he's got back to Leon's Foster. It's still a chance here. Sesson Young. Lots of room. Lots of time. He's put it in Levitt. It's blocked. McCarron's there. Levitt again to Sesson Young. Good turn. It's Levitt again. Here's Yannicetti. George McCarron. Here is Leon Foster. Not the best pass in the world. That's That move peters out in the end. And Willie Campbell doesn't win the header. But it's out for a throw in. Not the best start to the game, considering where Luton are and where we are. Um, looking looking dangerous, but we we still need some fine-tuning up front, I think. Fine-tuning is needed. No, James Scott having the best game we've seen um, at the moment. Apart from the time he scored a goal. That was good. Oh, Luton have a corner. Don't score. Good clearance for Sesson Young. That's what we're talking about. That's why he's signing a new contract soon. Stephen Sesson Young doing the job there. Here's KD Gordon now on the ball. He's played all the way to James Scott. Lovely maneuver. Can he get it through? Leon's Foster. What a pass. Oh, I thought that was for Dane Scarlett. Instead, it's Bradley. Sesson Young, though. Back to Scott. Oh, near post. You question the keeper's, the keeper's positioning there and how he let that in. But James Scott with his second goal for Derby County. And we are in front by a goal to nil. Bradley with a lovely little clearance. The cross from Cessna is brilliant. He's onside. No chance. That's offside. And that is a poor goalkeeping error there. Should be saving those near post shots. But we don't really care because we are 1-0 up. And that is a goal 
a long time coming in this game. And we're ahead. Levitt's free kick is saved by Evans. On target, though, so we'll take those. Dylan Levitt's soon to sign a new contract with us as well. Good cross in, headed away, though. And that is a good goal to have. We move to fifth in the table with if everything stays the same, which is fine. I'm happy with that. As long as we're there to near towards the end of the season, I like to fight to get to the playoffs. We're not aiming for the title or anything. We just want to we just want to compete in that playoff places. And fingers crossed we can do that um, this season. Obviously, if we stay in the championship, we stay in the championship. It happens. But if we get the Premier League, that'd be the promised land. We can definitely buy some big players. So I think potentially buy Dane Scott as well if we do get promoted, which is a dream, obviously a dream. And Levin just couldn't be played in. Although the budget probably blown on that. He probably cost a lot of money. Jaros on the ball. Can he clear it away? He's put it at Billy. Here is Sesson Young. He's now playing to Katie Gordon. Here is Dylan Levitt. So not a bad pass. Wasn't the pass Scott was hoping for. But there you go. And Luton are back on the ball. And oh, this Willie does well there. Jaros gets it away. For Sesson Young's had a very good... First half, what a pass to Dane Scott. Can he finish it off? Oh, that's a shot we've seen him score before. And that is not the time. That's not this time. It's not this time he scores that goal. Most of the time, though, he does. He does get in those positions and score, usually. We saw it before in this episode, I think. We didn't let it pass and a scarlet goal from that sort of move, but not today. It's still 1-0. Not bad, but obviously it's 1-0. I don't want to be... Hanging on or being relaxed with a 1-0 lead. I want to possibly go up there and make it 2. But we have got a good team out at the moment who are playing very well. Got some good performances on the pitch there. Just want that second goal. We're going to bring off Scarlett in a moment. Let's hope we can get a goal before we take him off. We are, Because, you know, he needs he needs to rest. You know, we need to make sure he's fit for the next few games. We don't play West Brom for, until a week, a week later. But, you know, just want to keep him fresh. I want him training as well. I don't want him just sitting around his house doing nothing. I want him to be training. Which is the important thing. And that is not good. Luton in. Good block there from Levitt. But still problems here. Great clearance from Willie. And Scott now on the ball. But he's possessed. All right, we're bringing him off. Dane Scott going to come off. Abdullah is going to come on. James Scott looking knackered. We do have Eberselli on the bench. So I'm going to bring him on. Swap these two around. And that is the change they're going to make in. So that, those are the changes. And do I know up front for us? We've got Gordon on the left. We've got Emsley on the right. Let's hope they can uh, do something here. James Scott's goal is the only reason why we're up front, though. In front, even. So I think it's so we can keep it 1-0. Maybe make it 2. Abdu Ali, good take. Here's Ebersele, who's just come on. Here's Sessegnon. Running with the ball. Levitt on the ball. Here's Sessegnon again. It's a lovely ball. Abdu Ali. Oh, what a goal that is. And Abdu Ali off the bench with a beauty of a goal. And that surely has sealed the three points, we hope. I mean, look at this again. We'll just watch this again from Sesson Young and Levitt. Working well. Look at the ball in here from Sesson Young. Abdu Ali takes it on. Just punts it in that top corner. That is a beautiful goal. 2-0 to the Rams. And we are looking good now for this lead. I said we need that second goal. I was planning to put Madu in the bench. I forgot. Uh... Yeah, we needed that second goal, and it's happened. Oh, we might get a third here. Abdu Ali played it from Dylan Levitt, and that is the third goal. A second for Abdu Ali, and that is surely game over now. We can make that final change. We will, we're will. we planning. Uh, Liam Thompson's going to come on here for Dylan Levitt. We're going to swap these two around, and I don't know why I just did that. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, we're going to keep it that. So. Dylan Levitt getting an assist before he comes off the pitch. And Abdu Ali with a double off the bench. It's good to have him around sometimes. And that's a, a, a performance we needed from him. We moved to third, apparently. What's happened here, then? We're about to find out after this game if it stays, stays like this. If everything stays the same, we stay third. That'd be amazing. But still a game going on here. Please don't concede. Don't concede. Don't concede. Good defending. Good defending. Abdu Ali on the ball. Is Go on, play forward. Oh, no, no. We're 3-0 up. It's been a long time coming, but we got there in the end. Abdu Ali with a double in quick succession as well. Look at that, 81-81. He scored one, then scored another one right after. That's that's Abdu Ali's. That's the Abdu Ali effect. 
And there's the final whistle. Three nil at home. That's the result we needed to see. A response from the Millsboro defeat. And they got that. And Abdu Ali off the bench, scoring a double. So we want to see Incessant Young also having a stormer of a game. I mean, we're just looking at the back line played very well. Willie and Billy, I mean, the combination again just working well. Working wonders. And we see it there. Look at that. Fourth place is not bad at all. I like that a lot. We are fourth place. Very, very good. Very nice. We play West Brom next to a seventh. So equal on points. We're just in here because of goal difference. So it's very tight at the top still in that top six. So we're still needing to, well, just keep keep a level head. Just keep it going. And Leon Foster, I just played you in the last game, bro. What do you want about? There we go. Thank you very much. Laudu Ali does well. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. We have just beaten Luton Town by three goals to nil. Very good clean sheet. Abdu Ali come for the bench to get a double. James Scott also getting a goal, which is good to see. Jarrett set for a pay increase. And, you know, he deserves it. James Dane Scott again. You know, I'm going to rest you for two days. You need to be in training. Actually, we play, don't play West Brom for a week. You can have three. You can have three. And there you go. Well, Chong wants to be off the. Yeah, it wants to be a list. Fair enough. Uh, well, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. We play West Brom. We play a few other teams. If the saves uh, before I do this outro, there you go. We'll check out who we're playing. So we're playing West Brom. We're playing Rot Rotherham. And we're playing Reading, a team that we came with in the, from the League 1 to the Championship. Back up with them. So we'll play those three in the next episode, I believe. Uh, and then after that, we'll see what happens. So take care. Stay oh, play West Brom twice this month. Oh, God. Should be interesting. Right, we'll see you guys soon. Uh, take care, stay safe, and I love you. Peace.